Hey Zen Sam, it's me. <laughs> uh, before I get started in this video, I want to ask you guys a little question. I really honestly need your feedback on this, okay? I'm thinking about changing the, my outro a little bit. I still will obviously say I nay bother at the end, but I'm thinking of saying something like uh, hashtag support your Scottish YouTubers uh, you know, because that's the hashtag I'm trying to promote at the minute and I'm thinking about in the introduction to videos asking you to rate, favourite, comment, share, subscribe because I'm not sure how many of you are making it to the end when I'm getting new viewers to the channel even established viewers I'm not sure how many of you are sticking to the end of the video you know so for those kind of call to action parts of the video do you believe I would be better served and you would be better served if I was to make that particular change by putting the call to action at the beginning and changing the outro slightly to include the support Scottish YouTubers hashtag possibly even flash up that artwork that I use for it occasionally uh, as I said Obviously, still including the uh, the Zen blo logo card at the end. Please do, obviously, let me know. Uh, this video, I'll say it at the end because I've already said it at the beginning. Um, but I do eagerly await your correspondence. So, to the point of this here video, Fallout Five. Now you're all going to be going. Then, how come you're talking about Fallout 5? Nobody said anything about Fallout 5. The first is no said anything. Uh, I don't understand why you're talking about this theoretical game. I'll tell you why I'm speaking about a theoretical game that as yet does not exist. Here we go. Right, so the last couple of years at E3. Bethesda has had, shall we say, less than a successful run of things. 76 was terrible, and there have been a lot of cruddy phone things, and their messaging's been all over the place, and their engine needs updating, and they keep, they keep talking about new things, but we never see them. And I think a large body of gamers have either begun or have already lost faith in Bethesda. And for a couple of years there, they were the darlings. They were like, wow, wow, look at Bethesda. Doom is amazing. Fallout 4 is actually coming out in just a few, in a couple of months. It's not coming out in a couple of years and they're not going to continue droning on about it. It's actually happening and Bethesda had a great release schedule and those first couple of years at E3, the shows were interesting and then they kind of weren't. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I like Andrew WK as much as an X-Rock fan but yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work. Because Andrew WK's music, you need to see it live. It's that simple. Live doing one song from a games conference where everybody's in a seat. It felt kind of rock by numbers. But that aside, as my phone makes notification noises, <sighs> I think that not only do we need another Fallout game, but I think we need a Fallout game that takes a radical new direction. Not just a Fallout game where it's persistently online and there's nothing there and there's nothing to do and you get microtransactioned up the wazoo. I think it's time for a completely new engine and a new premise to Fallout. Here's what I'm proposing. Let's say we've tight we've been with the original Wonder from Fallout 3. We've been with the Vault uh, the Vault guy from Fallout 4 and they've done their various things. 
I think it would be fun if their stories, by and large, I mean, obviously, if I put made their own ch- choices and those games had their own thing, but the main flux, the main points of their stories were folded into the narrative. And let's say it's set a further 50 years after those games. I can't remember which one this happens first. I think Fallout 3 is set before Fallout 4, but if I'm wrong, tell me down below. I want to see a game where, you know, the Brotherhood Steel is kind of like a much more like the UN than it is more than like the Marine Corps. I want it to be much more sort of peacekeeping force and trying to rebuild the wasteland. I think that's the important thing. Focus in on the building aspect of Fallout 4, but take it across the entire map. The reclamation of the wasteland. So you're still going to be killing things, and you're still going to be, you know, making packs and deciding story branches and, like, levelling up different abilities and, like, you know, obviously ending up in dangerous situations as you push outwards. But I think, bring it back to Washington, okay? I know a return to Washington already think, because everybody was like, well, I want to go somewhere new before it. I say return to Washington. And show how it's going with their rebuilding effort. Because as you may remember, your dad in Fallout 3 had you set up fresh water, fresh clean water from that big sort of ship science thing I want to see how it pans out, I want to see you know, where everything continued on from that point after the Wanderer you know, did that big fix and I think it'd be interesting to see, you know what happens after more of the vaults have let out their people and the vaults are more ready to trade openly with the outside world and as the radiation starts to get cleared up thanks to advanced technology and like uh, you know maybe somebody finds a way to pacify the ghouls and maybe like the super mutants have been wiped out obviously you'll need another threat Uh, do you take the threat from foreign nations coming or rather the remnants of foreign nations coming to see if they can have what America's rebuilt for themselves, maybe nick the technology or nick the land, whatever. Or are you going to take it from a completely new faction? You know? Like, um, somewhere, f- like, from outer space even, you know? I mean, there has been, shown to have been alien influences in both Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Or will there be a time travel aspect? Who could say? But the idea of not just fighting the wasteland, but rebuilding the wasteland. So what you do with resources and relationships between different settlements and different people, and the discovering of old technologies and the rebuilding of stuff, you know? I mean, we're talking a little bit of like, you know, Sim City, with a little bit of like Fallout, with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mash it all together. I think it could be something very, very interesting. And I really like the idea of you've got your crafting, you've got your Brotherhood of Steel, you've got your, um, what were they called? Um, who are the other guys? Oh. Sort of ranger blokies, um, that they come to a peace agreement. You know, you broker a peace agreement between them. It's like, and maybe even like the simul the the simps. Maybe there's like a small pocket of simps left, and instead of trying to kill them, you get them in, and they sort of like a. They have decided like maybe they don't want to look like humans anymore. And they're not trying to replace us. You know? They become something more. And with them becoming more, it pushes our evolution forward. 
And maybe, maybe we have a section where, like, we go to the moon, you know? Maybe, like, the moon, everything there is still pristine because it's not rotted down, it's not been destroyed by the radiation and by, like, you know, by years of, like, looting and neglect and stuff. And maybe you use the stuff on the moon to, like, bring Earth back. And I think there's scope for a great many things here. And I think this could be the idea for next gen after Starfield that brings the Fallout f uh, franchise back into focus. Because, don't get me wrong, I loved Fallout 4. But it was a bit of a hodgepodge. The Admittedly, the DLC packs really helped. I mean, all the stuff when you were going off to the islands and that at the, t at the top of the map, that was brilliant and the Automatron that certainly had legs but it was a bit of a sprawling mess, I think there needs to be a tighter, more cohesive story to Fallout 5 when it happens and it will happen eventually, I'm no doubt of it because uh, Bethesda has a great thing when it comes to the Fallout games, I mean that's why it made free because those two, those top down games were so beloved. So yeah, Fallout 5, the rebuilding of the American wasteland. Possibly even the world. It's food for thought, I think. Anyway, rate, favourite, comment, share, subscribe. And of course, as always, I. Nay, bother.